Hello, welcome to CM Videos, a YouTube channel where we try to help you curate effective finite element solutions to your computational modeling problems. My name is Dr. Michael Okureke and this video is part of my Abacus Tips and Tips series and I am dedicating this video to helping you extract stress and strain data based on a nodal set. Please refer to the video that is in the card to help you if you're going to look at the volume average extraction of stress and strain data. The particular one is an improvement on that and here we're focusing on just a subset of your domain and you're going to extract the stress strain data based on that domain. So let's sit back and relax as we get started with this modeling. So here we are in Abacus and this is a tensor specimen that I've already designed and this tensor specimen has got a hole right in the middle. And let's say we're interested in understanding the stress strain behavior around this hole, not across the whole domain, just around this hole. So what are we going to do? How are we going to extract that? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to isolate a nodal set just around the hole of interest. And to do that, we need to partition. So within the part module, so first thing we need to do is we create a, a sketch on that plane. So you click here, it said select the faces. Okay, this is a face that we want. And now it said, what will be a vertical edge? Fine. So it gets you into the sketching plane, the sketch cam sketching canvas. So let's say I'm interested in some way around here. So I'll click the triangular but rectangle button. And let's say maybe this is the region that I'm interested somewhere around here. So, okay, this is fine. So we select that, click done. So it's created the, the sketch on that face. Now we need to extrude through that face by create cut through, define a cutting plane. So if you click on this button, press and hold, and then you go on to this one, which said partition the cell using the extrude or sweep by edge. So you click on that. So select the edges individually. So we click on that one first, press down, shift, select them individually. So these are the three edges that we want to extrude through and click done. Now, I want to extrude along a direction that I will specify, which is here. So that creates the partition. So we've got a region around which we're interested in creating the partition. Okay. I mean, the other things that I want to do. So this is obviously the region that we're interested. The other thing I like to do is to help this model to, to mesh by basically go back here. So I'll try and create more partition this cell. So let's say we select that cell, click done. I want a point and a normal, so I'll click that. Maybe select this other one. Done. Click point and a normal. Point and the normal edge. So that creates a partition. So I'll do the same onto this side. So this is important because it helps you basically chop up the model and make it easier to for your mesh. So now the next bit is just mesh the model. So let's see the model. So it's picked up zones. So first thing, okay, 2.5 is accepted. Select everything here. We want to sweep through, or maybe it's a structured mesh, okay, not accepted. So we sweep through because of that sweeping and media axis, minimize mesh transition. So this is fine. And then we mesh the domain. So it's okay. I mean, we could improve on that. So maybe we could reduce the mesh to 1.25 so that we have a better meshing and maybe select the region around the, the hole. So currently, the size is one point that maybe if we do 0 0.6, you know, half of that. So that's a better mesh. So we've got an improvement in the mesh. Uh, so especially in the region of interest. So we create a nodal set, gauge section set. So let's just call that gauge section set and interested in just that region. So we've, we've noted that set. The material is going to be a polypropylene material that we're using for this test test case and we've got all of our loading incorporated. The other thing we need to create a history to actually track what we want. So I'm going to call it my gauge section history output and that will be based on the set that we just defined which will okay so it's securely fixed in all direction and then the front okay so here we are we've got the result of the tensor test simulation and Clearly, because where the hole is, it's creating a lot of necking and the material, and this is kind of the kind of result you would expect. So if we animate it just a little bit, so you could see what's happening. So there's really a lot of stress concentration around that region, and that's leading to failure. But what we are really interested in is can we extract the stress strain data around that region so that we have a, a clear picture as to what's really happening in that region? Because this is an important point point in this model. So you click on that, find the history output associated with that. So the history output would in 
include the stress and strain in the gauge section set that we found which is here press down shift and control select that so we'll save this as a volume average and this will be our e11 data volume average and click make sure you have the plot option ticked so that it will plot everything and that gives us our strain data um, for us so we'll do the same for the stress data so you go to the end and then save us so average s11 data volume averaged but this is based on a nodal set not us across the whole model we're only interested in what's happening in a region actually understand what's happening so this is a stress strain data and it does show you this reduction in stress in that region so we've got that then we need to put them together so again you go back there and operate on this data continue and so we look for the combine option so there's a combine option so these are the two data that we generated so the x1 will be e11 data the y the axis will be that and then you plot so this gives us a stress strain data interested in and and that's how we can generate a stress strain data so that's really what i wanted to show in this video thank you for your interest in this channel if it's kind of the content you like please do subscribe to this channel so that when contents like this are made you'll be the first to see it again if you can look on the, the you know on the cards here there is a video that i put up together on how you can do this for a whole model using a volume averaging for the whole model thank you for your interest and i'll see you in the next video bye bye